right from the beautiful Shock Arena. The WWE Universe just exploded. Our first match, a one-on-one -on -one contest, and there is the first person out. It's Sam the Scorpion Taylor. Sam the Scorpion Taylor, you know he wants to make it to the pay-per-view. You know he wants to make it to the pay-per-view. Uh, my chatbot looks like it might be on the fritz there, Mac. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, there was an update, and I think it screwed it up. So I'll have to take a look at that afterwards. I apologize. All right, so again, the winner of this match is going to be the final participant in the big Elimination Chamber match at the pay-per-view. We will see who Sam's opponent is going to be. Hitting the stage, who have we got? Stone Justice, baby. Fully jacked and ready to attack. It is Stone Justice. From Los Angeles, California. LA's he finest. With Stone the greatest randomly generated name of all time, Stone Justice. Stone Justice had a big win at uh, Mayhem earlier in the week. I'm sure he is going to be looking forward to a big pay-per-view match. Now, I, I will reveal to you that the winner of the Elimination Chamber match at the pay-per-view is going to be a six-man Elimination Chamber match. The winner of that match is going to get a title shot for the Men's Championship that night. The winner of that grueling match is then going to have to, on the same night, face the completely unstoppable, by the most part, Hannibal Armstrong, our reigning men's champion. So, a definitely a huge opportunity for any of the superstars that are going to be participating in that match. Either one of these guys would love a crack at that belt. Sam Taylor did not uh, uh, actually lost to Hannibal Armstrong. He'd like a second shot at it. All right, Sam Taylor taking it to Stone Justice here so far, but Stone Justice has him up for a suplex. He's going to take his time about it, though. Do a couple squats. Got to get in that leg day. You don't get to have that kind of physique by skipping leg day. And now a couple of shots right to the face, and the Scorpion is in trouble. Some very technical wrestling going on here by repeated punch to the face. Why not a little bit more? You know, if it works, keep with it. But there we go. Sam the Scorpion shrugs off those blows to the kisser. A huge gut buster. Going for a pin, that might be a bit optimistic on the Scorpion's part. And there's a good shot to the uh, shot to the face by Sam Taylor. Stone Justice comes back with a shot to the gut. Nice little combo gets him into the corner and a big slap right to the chest. Sends him down to the mat, but Sam the Scorpion, not to be outdone with the reversal, has him up. Face first off the turnbuckle. And now a knee drop to the arm. Squeezing away on the, I believe, trapezius muscles. I got a D minus in biology in university, so... Don't take my word for that one. Face first off the mat. Is that going to be enough to put away Stone Justice? It is not. Only got the two counts. Very close. The T clearly set again. By the way, I worked very hard for that D-minus in biology. Uh-oh, Sam the Scorpion. 
Setting him up for something. Look out. Stone Justice reverses the black magic. He wasn't falling for that one. Sends Sam the Scorpion into the turnbuckle. Some big uppercuts over and over. Five uppercuts and then into the opposite corner and a huge elbow. Into the other corner and another uppercut. Unbelievable. What a series of moves by Stone Justice. And the Scorpion is in big trouble. This might be enough after that barrage. Only a one count. Wow. Wow, I thought he was going to at least get a two out of that after all that work, but no such luck. Both of these competitors desperately want to win this match. And now slamming the knee into the mat. The Scorpion, oof, I think I think the Scorpion's a little bit a little bit mad at this point. A little bit angry. You don't want to rile up a Scorpion. Top rope misses on the elbow drop, and Stone Justice is taking control now. Double underhook, power slam. Power bomb, rather, my apologies. Submission hold locked in. Is that going to be enough to get Stone Justice to tap? Oh, he's got it cinched in nicely. That might be enough. Stone Justice hanging on, though. Does not tap. Going for a pin. Only the two count. This match has been back and forth from the jump. Neither one of these competitors are going to give up. Sam the Scorpion, top rope. He's waiting for Stone Justice to get up. That's 300 plus pounds coming down right on the top of your head. And the jawbreaker reversal. Another double underhook powerbomb into a pin. Only gets the one count. What is it gonna take to put one of these two away? We might be here all night on the first match, ladies and gentlemen. Settle in. I hope you got a snack. I've seen this before. Stone Justice has him up. Oh! Neckbreaker. Neckbreaker air raid crash. Now what's he going to do? Has him up. Uh -oh, this is going to be nasty. There's the power into the... Suplex into a slam. And that's it, Stone Justice with a big win against Sam Taylor. Sam Taylor has a very impressive win-loss record in the RLWF. He's one of our top competitors. And Stone Justice, though, has been on fire as of late. And he has found his way to the pay-per-view. What a huge opportunity for Stone Justice if he can pull off a win in the Elimination Chamber to get a title shot tomorrow night. What a match. No shame on Sam Taylor in this one. We have, um, I'm trying to think in terms of hard numbers, probably about 50, I'm thinking. We've got quite a, quite a few. We've got a lot of people. It's mostly randos. We're still, we're still in early days, so it's mostly random. We've got about 50 superstars, 50 to 60, somewhere in that range. I don't know the exact number, but a few. All right, tag team action. First up, the Anarchists. Gabriel Reed on the left, Pain Chase on the right. They hate capitalism, they love wrestling, the Anarchists. Going off for the fans there. They are ready to go. 
again, not the best record so far in the RLWF. They're both very good competitors. They put in good matches, but just can't seem to rack up a lot of wins. Hoping to reverse their fortunes here. They lost to them the last time. A couple of weeks ago, they fought. Here they are, crossbows. Heading to the ring. The crossbows, of course. Former number one. I don't know if they would be considered still the uh, number one contenders with the tag team belts. They're certainly up there. They've had uh, they've, they've had a lot of success here, but unable to take the belts the last time they had the opportunity. We'll see if they're going to get another opportunity tomorrow at the pay-per-view against the Blue Bloods. Or if we're going to get some fresh meat in for the pay-per-view. Tough to say. That's Bad Ben Cross on the left, Lee Bowman on the right. Gabriel Reed starting off against Lee Bowman, waiting for the ring. And, and there go. we go. Team action in store. A Lee Bowman with a kick to the gut and a couple of shots to the face. Big clothesline. And he is already going for the tag, wasting no time. Listen, quick tags are important, but, you know, that might be a little, a little, a little, a little too quick. Bad Ben sends him face first into the mat. Boom, right across the small... Uh -oh, this is not gonna look pretty. And already going into a submission move. Lee Bowman... Coming in to protect his partner, but uh, Payne Chase was not coming in, so all for naught. Huge suplex there from Bad, uh, from Bad Ben, who's now going to tag in Lee Bowman. Some more highly technical wrestling. That move known as bashing the head against the mat, for those of you who are not as wrestling savvy as I. And now he's trying to twist the head completely off of the neck. Big punch to the side of the face. But here is the reversal. Series of reversals, because now Lee Bowman's back in it. And another reversal. And now finally, Gabriel Reed is going to tag off to his partner. More counters. Lee Bowman has Payne Chase up. And down to the mat. Bowman bringing him over to the corner. Face first into the turnbuckle. Shot to the gut. And then a running bulldog. Face first into the beautiful RLWF logo. Featuring our Lord and Savior, Rando Lando. Just insulting. Sharp elbows to the body, looking to fight his way out. Nice counter here by Payne Chase, trying to get something going here against Lee Bowman. And there you go, toss him halfway across the ring and go for the tag. It's not a, not a, not a bad strategy. Not a bad strategy. Oh God, I forgot to set the predictions. There we go. We're starting it late. We're starting it late. Hopefully the match does not end before the prediction does. If so, that'll be some free channel points. Big suplex by Gabriel Reed. Big electric chair drop too. Lee Bowman crawling for the corner. I don't think he knows exactly what corner he's even crawling to at this point. Gabriel Reed only happy to help him, but Lee Bowman not wanting to get stuck in the uh, in the opposite corner. Get him into the corner. Throws Reed into the turnbuckle, using him like a punching bag. One to the jaw and, then... and then an arm flip. Goes for the pin and broken up by Payne Chase. And now Payne Chase and Bad Ben going at it there, but Lee Bowman interrupts. And has him squeeze in a submission move. Obviously, he's not the legal man on the ring, so he's not going to be able to submit. But uh, it's laid him out all the same. 
Bad Ben coming in now. Gotta find a way to get out of this. Bouncing him Don't right watch. out of the ring. And Bad, uh, Ben Cross going after Payne Chase now, who is not the legal man in the ring, but uh, he's an easy target all the same. Gabriel Reed in now. Bad Ben. Face first in the corner. Splits him wide open. Reversal by Gabriel. Trying to get something going here. Oh. Wow. One arm half Nelson right on the top of Bad Ben's head. And what's he setting him up for now? Huge tackle. Goes for the pin. That might be enough. Lee Bowman comes in to break that one up and probably for the best. Gabriel Reed has Bowman up now. But Bowman not going for it. The ref trying to get Lee Bowman out of the uh, out of the ring. He's got to exercise a little bit more control here. He is not the legal man. Bad Ben takes advantage of the distraction. Gabriel Reed still with that fight, that intestinal fortitude to keep on going. Has him up. Oh, and a huge power bomb. Goes to the cover again. Only the one count. Gabriel Reed's got to be thinking about a tag here. I am shocked he's not running for his corner at this point. Bad Ben with a couple of gut shots. And some big kicks. Oh. Goes for the pin. And that's it. That is it. Gabriel Reed needed to go for his own corner to go for the tag. He put it off too long. And the crossbows beat them again. Some great camera work here by our intrepid crew. The replay camera staff probably going to be fired after this match, but that's okay. That is okay. We all saw what happened. Crossbows made mincemeat out of the anarchists again. And the anarchists, despite being a good team, just cannot seem to get in the win column here. Crossbows again. They, you know, they have to be uh, in the contention for another title shot. If not tomorrow at the pay-per-view, then uh, not much longer after that, I would think. They keep racking up the wins. They just couldn't get that belt. But tomorrow might be the time. Next up, one-on-one -on -one action. First out, who do we have? Former women's RLWF champion, Faria Mohammed. The following contest Coming out first. Would love to get that record back up to a point where she can get herself another title shot. One of the stronger competitors in the female division. We're going to see if she's going to show, soft, uh, show off some of that strength today. Her backbreaker finisher has uh, polished off some of the best competition in the women's division. So we'll see if it makes an appearance here tonight. Her opponent, though, perhaps the most dominant competitor in this division, it's Evelyn Precious. Evelyn Precious had put in the work to become the number one contender for the women's division title. Did not get the opportunity, and then Faria Mohammed dropped the title to Amber Leon. And so Evelyn Precious feels like she's been cheated out of that opportunity. She's taken it somewhat personally against Faria Mohammed, so I'm sure she's going to be happy to uh, happy to face off against her in this match here. Make an impact. 
All right, I am actually going to remember to start the prediction here, so you can make your prediction. Maka, listen, we'd love that. We would love to have you. We'd love to have you. Hard not to be excited when the superstar is in the ring. A competitor who has... Depends on how good you are gambling. If you're as good as I am about uh, making uh, these kind of channel predictions, then you will never get a competitor because I am terrible. Hopefully you're smarter than I. A very low bar, as most people know. Evelyn Precious immediately going to town on Freya Mohammed. We knew she was going to come in hot and vicious. Locked in. That was a rope break on that uh, on that submission. Evelyn Precious, a master technical wrestler, a lot of submission moves in her repertoire. Amber uh, Fer uh, Faria Mohammed rather headbutt to the body and a kick. This is a little more Faria style, <laughs> using her size and strength advantage. And now locking in a submission of her own, but again, a rope break. It is true, Maka. It is true. It's a slow slog. Maria drops her face first off the turnbuckle. Oh, vicious slap to the face. You know that one was personal. Has her out to the apron. Oh, look at this. Out to the apron. This can't be good. Drops her. Straight onto the apron. Submission move. This isn't false count anywhere. She just wants to inflict pain. But Faria Muhammad has her up by the wrist. You showing off that power again. Drops her to the concrete. Rhea heads back to the ring and then back out just to she reset to the, the count out. To Kick to the gut. And then straight into the apron. So much damage inflicted. She did her there. Both of these competitors with strong showing so far. Evelyn Precious again. Locking in the submission hold on the outside. Evelyn Precious dodges that one by quickly jumping up to the apron. Huge chops. Faria fighting back and a huge shoulder tackle again. Faria has a very big size advantage here and is trying to use it, but Evelyn Precious... Not afraid to fight dirty and always willing to fight viciously. There's the pin. Got the two count on the former champ. Evelyn Precious beat the current champ, Amber Leon, in a non-title match. So you got to think that she might have a good chance of getting a shot at the pay-per-view. Locks in a figure four. Faria Mohammed, you, in obvious pain, you can see. Slap to the face, managed to get out, but you can see her limping. That took a toll. Faria has her up, and a gut buster right across the shoulder. Faria has her up again, and down just as quickly. Faria going top rope. Waiting for Evelyn Precious to get up. Does Evelyn Precious know where she is? She does not. Takes a double axe handle right to the top of the face. And now Faria Muhammad again. No love lost between these two women. Faria has her up. And down with the bridge. Is that going to be enough? It is not. Two counts. Two count. But now it's Evelyn Precious in big trouble. Maria has her up. Oh, and there's the backbreakers. 
this could be it for Evelyn Precious. That'll, that'll, that should do it. It is not, wow, how did she kick out of that one? How did she kick out of that one? Evelyn Precious just, I think, on pure rage. Pure rage at this point. But that back must be absolutely killing her at this point. Big neck breaker. Evelyn Precious has her locked in to the submission hold. Is she going to make Faria tap? This would be an impressive comeback if she did. Maria rolls out. But Evelyn Precious still fighting. Knees to the chest. Working on the arm. Unbelievable. Goes to the pin again. That's a three count. Wow. Wow. Evelyn Precious again. Snatching victory. From the jaws of defeat. You can see Faria rolling out in the background there. Evelyn Precious letting the crowd know. Faria can't believe it. I thought after those backbreakers she absolutely had it. But Evelyn Precious. The tougher the competition you put her against. The more likely she's going to win it. Unbelievable. What a match. Triple Threat Ladder Match. You can see suspended from the rafters. A case. Here's the first person out, Jesus Cruz. He's been on an absolute tear as of late. And he is going to be one of the participants in the Big Elimination Chamber match tomorrow night at the pay-per-view. You got to get on the ladder and you got to get that case. Now, this is not the front of the line case that gives you a title match. This is uh, what we're calling a money in the bank case, I believe it's called. Uh, basically, uh, it's full of cash. It's full of straight up cash, baby. Ten grand in cold hard cash right there, hanging up above the ring. The first person to grab it gets that money. Of course, different from the front of the line case, which gives you a title match, which has been won by Elijah George and Sonya Gray at the last pay-per-view. Here comes the next member of this match, participant rather, Carter Ford. Carter Ford stalking his way to the ring. One of the more unpredictable competitors we have here. Don't know if he's quite all there, but uh, he's a heck of a wrestler. Again, we'll have to see how he's going to do in a ladder match. I think this might be his first ladder match. And the final participant will be out shortly. Carter Ford letting the fans know he intends to win. He wants to walk out with that cash. That's 10,000 American. Carter Ford is from Canada, so that's, you know, that's a good 12 grand Canadian. So extra incentive for Carter Ford to grab that case. And the final participant, oh, listen, I hate to play favorites. I hate to play favorites, but how can you not love Terry Wonderful? The mullet, the mustache, the magic, Terry Wonderful, making his way to the ring. This is going to be a great match. Let's get the prediction going. And 
you can let me know which of these participants you think are going to win. All right, we are just about ready. You can see the ladders outside the ring. Carter Ford and Jesus Cruz locking up immediately. Too many classics to name and too many broken bodies to count. Terry Wonderful getting the crowd pumped up. They love him. He's a high energy wrestler. Carter Ford taking it to Jesus Cruz. Clothesline springboard there. Terry Wonderful now taking advantage. And going after Carter Ford. And now he's going after Jesus Cruz. There's no, listen, both these guys fan favorites, but there's no friends in a triple threat match. Very wonderful. Big brain buster on Jesus Cruz. Jesus Cruz with the DDT. Cruz going out for a ladder now. Smart move. He can't... Uh, hits Terry Wonderful with the ladder on the way in. Carter Ford attacking Terry Wonderful outside. He's got to pay attention. Jesus Cruz is in there alone with that ladder. I don't know what he's hesitating for. Carter Ford saying, all right, you don't want to go up. I'll be happy to go up for you. Jesus Cruz, I don't know if he's, I don't know what's going on with him. Terry Wonderful preventing Carter Ford from uh, getting that case. Now Jesus Cruz is up, but uh, Carter Ford's ready for him. He's got him by the throat. Fighting at the top of the ladder and knocks Jesus Cruz all the way down. Terry Wonderful has Carter Ford up. Backbreaker. Jesus Cruz is back up trying to get that ladder or get that case rather. Jesus Cruz allowed to go after that case, but the fighting, uh, I think accidentally knocked the uh, the ladder out from under him. Jesus Cruz just hanging from the top of that ladder. He finally is forced to just drop himself down. Terry Wonderful sets it back up. Now he's probably going to give... Oh, he's not. I thought he was going to go up the ladder for himself to give a try, but he wants to uh, go after Carter Ford's ankle instead. Don't know if that's the best strategy. Jesus Cruz now with the big DDT and splits. Terry, wonderful, wide open. Jesus Cruz going after Carter Ford now and another DDT. He's just dropping DDTs left, right, and center. Terry, wonderful, sends Jesus Cruz out and he is continuing to go after Carter Ford instead of going up that ladder. Terry, wonderful, not showing the best strategy. I think Carter Ford... Going after Terry Wonderful. All three of them locked up here in the middle of the ring. Carter Ford decides to kind of stay out of it for now. But Jesus Cruz not letting him. And another DDT. He's trying to crack a skull open tonight, that's for sure. Sends Ford out and drop kicks him to the concrete. Very wonderful now. There's the reversal from Jesus Cruz. Gets him into the corner. Going after Carter Ford who just came back into the ring. The competitors so far seem more interested in going after each other than going up to get that case. And I don't know if that's necessarily the best strategy here. Another DDT by Jesus Cruz. Terry Wonderful out to the apron. Missed on the drop kick to Carter Ford, and Carter Ford made him pay for it. Carter Ford, oh, sends him face first. Carter Ford closing the ladder up, readjusting it there. Maybe it was just a little slightly off center, looking for a better position, but Terry Wonderful comes back in and sends him to the corner. And now Terry Wonderful looks to set up the ladder himself. He's holding on. I think he was going to try and use it to uh, attack Carter Ford with, but 
Jesus Cruz snuck up in behind him. And now Terry drops him face first off of the turnbuckle. Hurricane Rana to Carter Ford and Terry Wonderful taking care of business in the ring right now. There's the reversal by Jesus. Jesus sends Carter Ford right out to the concrete. Terry Wonderful and Jesus Cruz going at it now. And there we go, Jesus Cruz sending Terry Wonderful for a ride. Looks like Carter Ford's gonna bring in a second ladder. Jesus Cruz is top rope. Huge shooting star press from the top rope on Terry Wonderful. And now he's going after Carter Ford, but Carter Ford ready for him. Jesus Cruz with the reversal. Again, a great triple threat match in terms of fighting, but the participants are going to need to start focusing on getting the, getting up that ladder if they want to come away with the money. Terry Wonderful heads up the ladder, but Carter Ford is right there. I don't think he's even going to get a hand on it. Carter Ford yanks him right off that ladder. Now goes after Jesus Cruz. Terry Wonderful taking advantage to sneak up again. Carter Ford attacking Jesus Cruz, sending him to the outside. Terry Wonderful making progress on that case, but falls off the ladder. There's the reversal on Carter Ford. Jesus Cruz and Terry Wonderful locking up. Face first into the mat, and Terry Wonderful is already split up and standing press. Carter Ford going up for the case now. He's trying to get in there. Is he going to make any progress? Terry Wonderful and Jesus Cruz not paying attention. They're more concentrating on beating each other, and Carter Ford taking advantage. He is making progress on that case. Terry Wonderful has got to get up there pretty quick because Carter Ford is close to getting it. And there, finally, Terry Wonderful is able to powerbomb Carter Ford right off that ladder. And now Jesus Cruz scampering up in behind, trying to take advantage of the distraction. And now Terry Wonderful again has to try and get it. Jesus Cruz, he's almost got it. Terry Wonderful coming up to the top and Jesus Cruz let Terry Wonderful do a lot of the work including taking out Carter Ford before he snuck up in behind and Terry Wonderful was not able to stop him in time and Jesus Cruz comes away with the victory and comes away with a briefcase full of money baby Letting the crowd know, drinks are on me. Tequila's all around in the bar after the match. All right. Non-title match for the All-Star Champion. Facing Maz of Oz is going to be this gentleman. The Killer Cage and the Beast of the Bayou, it's Mason Marceau. The following contest is a Falls Count Anywhere match. Settle in. Is this is a long intro. Listen, when you're this when you're this when you're this good of a superstar, you can take all the time you want on your intro. If you need to grab a drink, now's the time. If you need to go to the bathroom, now's the time. When I get in a quick nap, now is the time. Don't worry, you'll have plenty of time before the match itself starts. But the fans love it. 
The fans love it. And in his contract, I am not allowed to reduce his intro. It's uh, the, uh, the lawyers are, are flummoxed. I can't do anything about it. I've tried. So we're just all going to have to sit through it. The fans don't mind. The fans look at the flash bulbs going off. They love this guy. Mason Marceau has been on a tear since the pay per view. He has stepped up his game and he is gunning for a belt. He's been racking up the victories. And he would like nothing more than to beat the all-star champion, Maz of Oz. Non-title or not, that's a feather in your cap, that's for sure, to get a victory like that. I think we are mercifully close to the end of this entrance. There we go. And now it is time for the champ, baby. The one, the only. From the land down under, it's Maz of Oz. We'll get the prediction going. You can let me know if you think the champ is going to win or if the challenger has what it takes. We still have got no verification as to the source of Maz of Oz's scar. The latest rumor is that it was a particularly vicious koala. I don't think I buy that one. I don't think I buy that one. But anything is possible. All right. Looks like we are just about ready to go. Watching this no DQ match, There's the bell. The great no disqualification matches we've seen in WWE over the years. No doubt, Michael. Triple H versus Brock Lesnar in 2013. The Rock versus Man. This match here falls count anywhere. Classics. I believe also no disqualifications. So this could get nasty. Mason Marceau with a nice drop kick to the side of the head there against the champ. Goes middle rope. And uh, unimpressively just jumps back down again. That's okay. They can't all be winners, but there's a nice move. Working on the arm a little bit there. Mazavaz gets up and then goes for the clothesline, but Mason Marceau reverses, sends him into the corner. And a vicious chop across the chest. Mazavaz counters. This is all about total destruction. Working on the knee there. Systematic attack on that arm. Measured knee drop. Knee drop to the face from the champ. Set crashing to the floor. Sent outside. Now again, the uh, champ, a submission specialist. Leg breaker. So... Marceau has to watch out for that. Uh -oh. His crocodile death, row has, death roll has put away some very tough competition. But right now, he is just vicious elbow drop to the face. He is just absolutely going to town on Mason Marceau out of the, out of the ring here. But there's the reversal for Mason trying to get something going here. Get some momentum going in his way, but no luck. Maz of Oz tosses him back into the ring. And there's the submission hold. Awfully close to the ropes, but no rope break. Is that going to be enough? Is this going to be over already? It is not. Mason Marceau able to roll out of it. And now he is fired up. Got a little adrenaline rush from that one. Has him up. And power bomb all the way to the outside. Mason Marceau going for the pin. It's the two count and that is all. He avoids the damage. 
Series of reversals here, and then, oh! Double face buster. Wow. Slams the back of the head right down into the concrete, and the champ is wobbling. Runs into those steel steps. And Mason Marceau has him up, and oof. Spine buster, there's the pin. Is that gonna be enough? Is he gonna beat the champ here? A two count again, but the champ in rough shape here. Mazavaz is gonna have to uh, get something going soon or Mason Marceau is gonna get the victory. Drops him straight on his head onto the concrete. That has to be it. Even Mazavaz isn't gonna kick out of that one. I stand corrected. I stand corrected. Listen, that's why he's champion, but there's the reversal. And now Maz of Oz trying to turn the tides here, but Mason Marceau with the reversal sends him into the steps once again. Mason Marceau doing a good job keeping the champ from gaining too much momentum. He knows all it's going to take is for Mazavaz to get one of those uh, submission holds locked in, and it could be good night for Mason Marceau. Maz sends him back into the ring. And now here is Maz on fire now. He's got a second win going, and he's going to go for the pin. Is that going to be enough? Only the two count against Mason Marceau. Mason Marceau with the nice reversal and then Mazavaz with a reversal and a running bulldog face first. No problem, Maka. Thanks, brother. Another reversal for Mason Marceau. These two competitors not willing to give up yet. And there's the reversal from Maz of Oz. Has him up and over. Maz positioning him here for a pin or going to lock him into a submission. We shall see. Uh-oh. I think he was trying for a submission. <laughs> Thankfully, Mason Marceau had the uh, presence of mind to not allow that because that could have been the end of the match right there. Big suplex from the Beast of the Bayou. Forearm smashed right into the jaw. Working on the arm now. Mason Marceau is going to go top rope. Missed. Maz of Oz got out of the way at the very last minute. Suplex on Mason Marceau now. And the big elbow drop right to the forehead. Definitely not where you want to be right now. Maz tries to bring him over to the corner, but uh, Mason Marceau, with the counter, sends Maz to the apron and is more than happy to help him down to the concrete floor. Oh, snap DDT right onto the concrete and then stomps on the chest but Maz sends him back into the ring Marceau float over DDT does not get it Maz of Oz with another counter and a huge uppercut to the jaw Reversal from Mason again. I think Maz was again trying to set up for a submission move. Mason Marceau has read the book. Now Mason Marceau with the submission on the champ. He's got a sleeper hold locked in. And that's it. He's out. The champ is out. What a victory by Mason Marceau. Wow. Nobody saw that coming. What a finish. 
Listen, Mason Marceau had read the book on Maz of Oz. He knew that he was going to try for that submission. And Mason was ready for him each time and was able to counter each time. But Maz of Oz could not have expected that sleeper hold out of nowhere. And it was lights out for the champ. So a huge victory for Mason Marceau. A huge victory. Anytime you beat a champion, whether it's non-title or title, management stands up and takes notice, that's for sure. What a match. Wow. Did not see that one coming, but good on Mason Marceau. Like I say, he's been on a hot streak. He's been unstoppable this last little while. We'll see if he can keep that going into the pay-per-view tomorrow night. Back again, the beautiful Shock Arena. Coming out first in this tag team match. The twins you love to hate, it's Wyatt and Wilson Wild. It's too wild. Social media darlings, fitness influencers turned professional wrestlers. And listen, it's easy to blow these guys off, but they have been putting up some wins lately, showing everybody that they have what it takes to compete in the RLWF. I mean, as obnoxious as they are, you can't argue with results. And that's why they have earned this non-title match against the Blue Bloods. Let's see how they fare against the champions. Alright, next out, here are your champions. Lord Philip Osborne on the left, on the right, Lord Everett Albridge. The men's tag team champions. The Blue Bloods. Take a look at this team. Completely on the same page. Such incredible. The Blue Bloods have been excellent champions. They have faced all they have faced all comers. They have taken on the best of the best, and they have won. So, we, you know, the fans, the fans, not fans of these guys. These guys are as arrogant as you would expect from snobbish upper-class aristocrats from across the pond. But you got to hand it to them. They've earned the belts, and they've earned the respect of their fellow wrestlers. Let's get the prediction going. You can let me know who you think is going to win this one. Wilson Wilde and Lord Philip Osborne starting out. Wilson sends Lord Philip into the corner, but Lord Philip was ready for him. Missed on that drop kick. Wilson taking his time, trying to get him up for the suplex there. Finally gets there. And tags off to his brother, Wyatt Wild, Who immediately goes after Lord Philip. Lord Philip with the reversal there. Nice kick to the back. And now he's going to work on the arm. Big elbow right to the top of the head. But Wyatt Wild with the reversal takes a couple of shots of his own there. Stomping away on the champ. And he is going to tag off to his brother Wilson. Wilson with a stomp right to the face. 
And now he's going to lock in a submission move here. Philip Osborne powers out of it. And then Jawbreaker for the reversal. And Wilson's in trouble now. But a reversal from Wilson. I spoke too soon. Philip Osborne desperately needs a tag here to his partner. Oh, what a slam by Wilson. But Philip Osborne manages to crawl over to the corner and tag in his partner, Lord Everett. Wyatt has him up, though. Fights out of it. Shot to the gut. And Lord Everett has him out. On the apron, drop kicks him right to the concrete. Lord Osborne, still a little groggy out there on the outside, finally gets back up to the apron. Lord Everett going after Wyatt Wilde now. But there's the reversal from Wyatt. And another reversal from Everett. Tossing him into the corner now. Look out. Wyatt Wilde. Taking it to the announcer's desk. Top this. Lord Everett with the quickest jump of all time to the top rope. And Wyatt immediately tosses him down from there. I didn't know that uh, Lord Everett had that kind of speed in him. But apparently so. Wilson Wild now. Up against the ropes from Lord Everett who gives him a huge slap across the chest. And now he is going to tag in Lord Phillip. Wilson has him up against the rope. It takes a big shot. And now forearm shots to the back. Philip Osborne going after him now. And a huge slap of his own across the chest, and he's going to go for the tag out. Wilson Wilde could probably use a tag himself, but uh, Lord Everett's not going to allow it right yet. Kick to the gut. Stomp to the arm. And a shot to the back. And that's all he needs to do. Now he's going to tag in Lord Philip again. He just had a couple things he wanted to, wanted to do there. Lord Philip has him up. Air raid crash. That could be enough. Only got the two count. Nice kick out from Wilson. He's going top rope. I think that might be out of Lord Philip's range. I'm not sure what he's trying for here. I think he might reconsider this. He probably should. He did. I think he just got a little amped up there. But Wilson takes advantage of the distraction. Gives him a snap DDT. That'll ring your bell. Now he's trying to bring him over to the corner. But Lord Philip. Not about to head over to enemy territory that easily. Tosses him into his brother there. And Wilson gets drop kicked right outside. Lord Philip's going right out after him. Even though Wyatt is right there. He's going after Wyatt now. Wyatt's backing off. Heading back up to the apron. And Lord Phillip heading back into the ring. And he takes care of Wyatt Wilson anyway when he wasn't looking. Lord Phillip cleaning house here against Two Wild. German suplex to Wilson. Makes the hot tag to Wyatt. But Lord Phillip drops him neck first. Off that top rope. He is amped up. He is ready to go. Lord Phillip on a tear right now. Didn't even get a one count on that one. And finally he tags in his partner, Lord Everett. Wyatt has him up. Big slam. 
Stomp to the face. And now a knee drop to the back of the head. What's he doing now? He's hamming it up for the crowd a little bit before he heads over. Does a little dance. Boom. Ball or elbow goes to the pin. Almost got the three count on the champs. Wow. Tags in Wilson. That's got to be frustrating for two wild. They thought they had it. Wilson has him up and over. Working on that arm. Sidewalk slam from Wilson Wild. Lining him up. Is he going to go for the pin again here against Lord Everett? Oh, he might be going for an elbow himself. That's his own little dance. Baller elbow. That might be it. That could very well be it. Lord Phillip came in for the save, and I think that was necessary. Wilson has some double underhook. Are we gonna see it? Oh! Unbelievable. Lord Phillip somehow coming back after that, but there's the clothesline to knock him down. Taking care of business against Lord Phillip, but here's Lord Everett. Back up and recovered from that elbow. Trying to turn the tides here. Wilson with the reversal. Too wild doing amazingly against the champ so far. This is the kind of match that might get you a shot at the pay-per-view. And I'm sure Too Wild are aware of it. How many Instagram followers can they add if they wind up at the pay-per-view? Huge elbow drop from the top rope. And there is the pin. And they got the victory. Lord Phillip tried to interfere, but got there just a half second too late. And too wild. Unbelievably. They're, they're okay, they're not done with the they're not done with the champs now. They are not done with the champs now. They are adding insult to injury. Lord Everett, the focus of their attacks, tossing both of the champs disrespectfully to the concrete lookout. I mean, Too Wild has to be, has to be in the running to face them, to face the champs at the pay-per-view tomorrow. And after a display like that, you know the champs are going to be a little bit upset about it. A little bit upset about it. Wow. Amazing. non-title match for the women's RLWF championship held by Amber Leon and she is going to be facing Silencio Silencio always a dangerous opponent she may be mute but she lets her wrestling do the talking the Spanish assassin Silencio you know that she would like a chance to take it to the champ even in this non-title venue especially with the pay-per-view coming up she's planning on doing it again here tonight but coming out next your women's champion there she is Amber Leon. The women's champions, Amber Leon. Donning the boss sunglasses since winning the championship, and rightly so. 
Although she did lose a match to Evelyn Precious, a non-title match. So if she loses another non-title match now, it is going to be uh, a black mark on her record as champion. And uh, it's going to make people start to question whether or not she is going to be able to successfully defend that belt at the lockdown pay-per-view. We'll have to see. I would think a victory here would give her a much-needed confidence boost headed into the pay-per-view. Although, uh, lack of confidence does not seem to be a problem that Amber Leon suffers from. Despite the loss to Evelyn Precious. Silencio staring down her opponent. And, as this match gets and there's the bell. Amber Leon sends her to the corner. Turns her around. What is she going to do? Has her up. And then Snake Eyes drops her face first. And then Silencio with the huge, the huge clothesline sends her tumbling all the way to the concrete. Amber Leon a little fired up about that one. But the two are going at it in the center of the ring, trying to establish control. Silencio with a nice forward slam. Amber Leon with the nice move sends her to the mat. Oh, I didn't start the prediction. Let me start the prediction. Bear with me. All right, prediction is live. My apologies. Another scoop slam from Silencio. Silencio taking it to Amber Leon now. But Amber Leon. Feeding off the crowd's energy here. Heading top rope. She's very da Both these competitors dangerous from the top rope. Silencio struggles to her feet and catches Amber Leon mid-air and slams her to the mat. Wow. Wow. Don't let Silencio's size fool you. She's a strong competitor. Look at that series of kicks. Amber Leon doesn't know where she is right now. And Silencio back in control of this match. Working on those arms. Amber Leon has her over off the ropes. And a big drop kick right to the face. And now Amber Leon working on the arms. Kick to the back. Kick to the front. And now a submission hold from Amber Leon on Silencio. She is absolutely squeezing the life out of that spine. Silencio manages to get out of it. And what a combo has her into the ropes. Look at the flip. Look at the agility. And then a huge drop kick to Amber Leon. Look at the agility shown. Oh, and again, a giant shooting star. Oh, my God. A standing press. Whew, I thought she might have had it. I thought she might have had it. Listen, Silencio. To the top rope. Changes her mind when she saw Amber getting up. Amber Leon, to her credit, trying to come back here. Sends her to the corner. What a Hurricane Rama from the top rope. Amber Leon's going to go for the pin now. This might be it. Only got the two count. Wow, these two. High flying, high energy superstars. The fans are loving this match. Oh, and a huge diving splash from the top rope. Amber sends her into the corner. Wrist lock up to the top rope, slings her arm drag across the across the uh, the ring. Top rope again, 
missed, missed on the five knuckle shuffle from the top rope. We know that she has problems with that move, but it might be enough anyway. No, only a two. Amber Leon has like about a 50% hit ratio with that five knuckle shuffle from the top rope. When she hits it, it is absolutely devastating. But when she misses it, far less so. She's going up again. Is she going to try for the five knuckle shuffle again? She is, and she missed again. Silencio getting out of the way. Now she's going top rope. Looking to show her how it's done. Amber Leon struggling to her feet. And a huge double axe handle. That might be enough to put the champ away. Oh! Out of nowhere, Amber Leon manages to get that shoulder up after two. Silencio, furious, wants to put the champ away. But the champ, not willing to go down, clotheslines are straight to the outside. Silencio in trouble. Amber Leon waiting for her to get up, at least for now. We'll see if that patience is going to last. I didn't think so. Amber Leon has her up. But there's the reversal from Silencio. And a reversal. Silencio now sends her for a ride. Heads back into the ring to avoid the countouts. Daring her to come back in the ring and face her. Amber Leon only too happy to oblige. She'll get sent out the hard way. And Silencio sends her out again. This time she follows her outside. Stomped right on the chest. Silencio sends her down again and smashing that ankle into the concrete Silencio on the apron now heads back in to avoid the count out look out she's going top rope that's a long way down Amber Leon I don't think sees her and a double axe handle all the way from the top to the outside Amber Leon manages to Reverse somehow, but Silencio taking control once again. Again, the resilience of Amber Leon has shown in this match has been incredible, but there are limits to the human body. And Silencio is prepared to test those limits. Going top rope again. And a huge elbow drop from the top rope to the outside. Amber Leon, is she going to be able to get back in the ring? Forget about win the match. But there, out of nowhere, pure muscle memory is the reversal from Amber Leon desperately trying to get something going here. She knows that she is very much on the ropes. And there is a nice flurry against Silencio where Amber Leon is getting this, this third wind. I don't even know. Heads back into the ring, and now she's daring Silencio to come back in. Swinging neck breaker by the champ, and she's going to go for the pin here. Kick out at two. What a match. What a match. How is Amber Leon still standing? There's the step up Superman punch. That could very well be it. And it is. Wow, what a comeback victory by the champ. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Put her away with the step up Superman punch, but she took after a after a, a vicious back and forth match. Amber Leon took two top rope moves to the outside by Silencio and still managed to come back for the victory showing why she is the champion that is exactly the boost she needed headed into the pay-per-view that is exactly what she needed she might very well be facing Evelyn Precious so she is going to need every bit of confidence 
that she can muster. Because we already found out Evelyn Precious, an incredible competitor, will have to see what happens at the pay-per-view. This match is going to be a four-way tornado tag match. An elimination. The following contest is a fatal four-way tag team match. Introducing first. First out, the fabulous Foxes. The team that wins this match, this four-way tornado tag elimination match, is going to the pay-per-view to face the gate crashers for a chance at the belt. All four of these teams have done well since the pay-per-view. It was too close to call. And so the commissioner said, put them all in the ring together and let's see what happens. Let them earn that title shot. So here we are for our main event. Huge stakes, huge drama. Probably a huge mess because we're going to have eight ladies in the ring and <laughs> to start off. <laughs> and they are going to be eliminated one by one. So first out was the Fabulous Foxes. The next tag team out. We know that music. Here they come. The Stunners. Fan favorites getting everybody pumped up with some dance moves. The Stunners hitting the ring. We still have two more teams to go before we can get this main event started. The champs, the Gate Crashers, have been unstoppable as of late. So it's going to be a tough match. Whoever wins this match is still up for only has the, you know, has everything ahead of them because beating the Gate Crashers is a whole other problem. Coming out next. Tama Tonga and Mauler. You know these two are hungry for a title. Still one more team to go. Fans giving a rousing chorus of boos to these two. Mahler doesn't seem to be too stressed about it. I would think that she's going to be laser focused on winning this match. It's going to be a free for all brawl, let me tell you. And the final participants. Zinda and Nikita Nightmare, it's Malice. Zinda, slow walking it. Through the ring. You gotta think that Zinda's size would definitely be a benefit in uh, kind of a free-for-all match like this, but uh, we shall find out. Eliminations are by pins and submissions. So it's gonna look a, it's gonna look a lot like a, a a battle royal when they all when you see eight women in the in the ring at the same time. But it is not an over the top victory. 
You got to pin him or submit him just like a regular match. Here we here we go. This poor referee has got to try and keep track of all this. Poor me for having to try and keep track of all this. Tama Tonga sent out to the outside of the ring. Jeannie Gorgeous is going top rope. I think she was thinking of going after Tama Tonga, and she does, but Tama Tonga prepared. Zinda is going after Fox Burton. Nikita Nightmare and Alexia Fox going at it. Beautiful Becca and Mahler going at it. Beautiful Becca just sent to the outside by Mahler. Stomping down on her, and now Zinda is out to the outside, and Fox Burton goes out after her. This is absolute chaos at this point. I don't even know where to look, let alone how to comment on this. Alexia Fox, a nice move. Beautiful Becca getting the table, setting the table for Mahler, but Mahler has different ideas. Whoa, what a springboard move from Tomatonga on Jeannie Gorgeous. Mahler absolutely demolishing Beautiful Becca. There's a pin by Alexia Fox. Not enough to put away Nikita Nightmare. We've got another pin on the outside. Only got a one count there. Tamatanga showing more strength than we thought she had. Submission move on the outside there from the Mahler onto Beautiful Becca. She got out of it though. Nikita Nightmare going after Alexia Fox. Tama Tonga continuing to pummel. Jeannie Gorgeous inside the ring. Zinda dropping a big elbow on Fox Burton now. Tama Tonga face since Jeannie Gorgeous face first and goes top rope on her. Jeannie Gorgeous has to watch out. She got out of the way just in time from Tama Tonga. Alexia Fox springboard miss on that move. There's a tag by Mahler on beautiful Becca only got a two count this is absolute madness absolute madness all of these competitors all eight of these women know what is at stake Fox Burton with the pin now on Zinda two count only Jeannie Gorgeous sends Tama Tonga face first into the mat Nikita Nightmare sends Alexia Fox to the outside now. Zinda goes for the pin. That might be enough to put away Fox Burton. It is. Fox Burton is the first person eliminated. Tama Tonga has been waiting for the pin, but the referee was otherwise occupied. That got a two count on G. Gorgeous. She would 100% have won that. If the referee had been in t position there, Jeannie Gorgeous catches Tomatonga and sends her. But now Zinda going after Tomatonga, but Jeannie Gorgeous having none of it. Alexia Fox misses on that springboard move. Nikita Nightmare still on the mat in the back there. This is an absolute madhouse right now. Beautiful Becca just barely clipped Mahler on that top rope move. Mahler sent to the corner by Nikita Nightmare, but reverses. There's a pin from Alexia Fox on Tamatanga. Only got the two counts. Jeannie Gorgeous sent to the outside by Zinda. She's going out after her. Stunner from beautiful Becca on Mahler. Is that going to be enough? Two only on the Mahler. I thought that stunner would have been enough. Nikita Nightmare and beautiful Becca both going after Mahler. Mahler sent to the corner. Reversal on beautiful Becca. Absolute chaos in the ring. I don't know how the referee is keeping track of this in the slightest. 
Alexia Fox sent to the corner. Tama Tonga lets her come out there. She's going after Nikita Nightmare anyway. Beautiful Becca missed on the super kick there. Sends Mahler to the outside, goes out after her. Nikita Nightmare goes out as well. Alexia Fox pinned by Tama Tonga. Jeannie Gorgeous going after Zinda now. Zinda with the two count. So the Fabulous Foxes both eliminated already. So the Fabulous Foxes have no chance of winning. The remaining three teams still in there. Super kick by Jeannie Gorgeous. And now Tama Tonga is going to take over attacking Zinda. Mahler, Beautiful Becca, and Nikita Nightmare just continuing to go after each other on the outside there. And Jeannie Gorgeous and Tama Tonga, unlikely allies here going after Zinda. Oh! A devastating forearm smash to Zinda. Tama Tonga is going for the pin. Tama Tonga with the pin on Zinda, and she is out. Nikita Nightmare just noticed that her partner is out. And beautiful Becca has a Who did she eliminate there? I couldn't see because the uh, camera angle. She eliminated Mauler. There are only four competitors left. Tama Tonga. Jeannie Gorgeous, beautiful Becca, and Nikita Nightmare. So both huge missile dropkick by Tama Tonga. So both of the stunners still in the running. Beautiful Becca drops Nikita Nightmare for the DDT. Here's the pin. Only the two counts. The stunners have a clear advantage here. With both members still in the ring. Or still in the match, rather. Beautiful Becca going at Nikita Nightmare. Slams her into the barricade. Jeannie Gorgeous just hammering away on Tama Tonga. Going for the submission move. I think that was broken up from a rope break. Tama Tonga now with the Hurricane Rama reversal. Tama Tonga is... Uh, pinned two competitors so far so doing well for herself but uh, huge size differential between her and Jeannie Gorgeous Nikita Nightmare and beautiful Becca continue to go at each other on the outside Tama Tonga sends Jeannie Gorgeous face first into the mat Tama Tonga going top rope on Jeannie Gorgeous huge, bo huge body splash goes for the pin She's eliminated Jeannie Gorgeous. Beautiful Becca has Nikita Nightmare pinned. But the referee is only just getting to it now. And it's a it's anyone's match now. Tama Tonga, Beautiful Becca, and Nikita Nightmare are the only three participants remaining. Tama Tonga going right after Beautiful Becca. Head scissors, DDT, right into the concrete. Tama Tonga has been an absolute beast. She's eliminated at least three people in this match so far. There's the pin by Nikita Nightmare on Beautiful Becca. And that's it. It's Nikita Nightmare versus Tama Tonga. Tama Tonga sends her to the concrete immediately. Unbelievable. It's either going to be Malice or Tonga and Mahler facing the champ. Sends Nikita Nightmare. Almost hitting the referee. Now trying to pull the arm right out of her socket. The two smallest competitors in this match... Except perhaps maybe Alexia Fox. Are the only ones left. Tama Tonga has been absolutely dominating this whole match. It would be a shame to see her lose at this point. But Nikita Nightmare. With a nice reversal there. It doesn't matter how many eliminations you get. It's who gets the last elimination. That's all that matters. Nikita Nightmare. Turn to the ring now. Back into the ring. Slides out again. Tama Tonga and Nikita Nightmare lock up, and Tama Tonga sends her for a little trip. 
Oh my God, he's got him. And now, oh, a running inverted bulldog face first into the concrete. Tamatanga now throws her again. Tamatanga back in the ring. Is she going to wait for her to come back in? She's not. Slingshot sent in to the outside. What a move by Tamatanga. But Nikita Nightmare with the reversal heads back into the ring. Nope, makes changes her mind. And Tamatanga, oh no. This has to be it. That has to be a Tama Tonga. How did Nikita Nightmare kick out of that after all the damage she has taken? Tama Tonga so close to sending her team to the pay-per-view. Throws Nikita Nightmare into the referee. Sit-out jawbreaker. And Nikita Nightmare drops like a rock. Tama Tonga, suplex. Nikita misses on the kick, obviously feeling the, feeling, suffering the, oh! Face first running arm breaker. I mean, Tama Tonga has to be wondering what has she got to do to put this, put this woman away. Nikita Nightmare with the reversal again. Tamatanga back in the ring. A slingshot, into a cross slingshot cross body. Another huge slingshot move from the inside to the outside. Tamatanga doing everything she can, pulling out every trick in the book. Trying to put away Nikita Nightmare and send her team to the pay-per-view. Slingshot cross body. That's got to be it. That has to be it. Unbelievable! Unbelievable! Tamatanga going immediately to the top rope. Immediately to the top rope. Misses on the knee drop. But still in control. Another sit out jawbreaker. And Nikita drops like a sack of potatoes. Big leg drop. And now she's got her in a head scissors submission move. Is this going to be it? Is she going to get her to tap? If I can't pin her, she might. If she can't pin her, she might try and get her to tap. And she lets her out of the submission. Doesn't tap. Nikita Nightmare is an absolute beast. Tamatanga continues to put on the pressure. Sends her all the way to the outside. She slips outside. What does she got in mind? Tamatanga. Sends her back in. And back into the ring she goes. What is she going to do now? I think she's running out of moves at a certain point. Sends her into the corner. Going top rope again. Split leg moonsault. That must. I mean, I've said it before. Two count again. What is happening? What is going on? Tama Tonga clearly frustrated. Missed on the splash. Nikita Nightmare. Nice suplex there, but... Unbelievable. Unbel How Nikita Nightmare is still going? Uh, is still going? I don't understand. Tama Tonga... Nikita Nightmare. Stunner from the top rope. Is she going to put Tamatanga away? No. Tamatanga kicks out. This is an unbelievable match. This is incredible. Nikita Nightmare to the top rope now. Waiting for Tamatanga to get up. And another top rope stunner. Two. Three, an unbelievable, unbelievable Nikita Nightmare took everything Tama Tonga had. Tama Tonga 
absolutely decimated Nikita Nightmare over and over and over again with springboard moves and dives from the top rope. Tamatanga threw everything but the kitchen sink at Nikita Nightmare, and Nikita Nightmare would not go down. She fought her way back, and with two top rope stunners, got her team the victory. Nikita Nightmare and Zinda are going to the pay-per-view to face the Gatecrashers for the women's title belts. Unbelievable. Nikita Nightmare, if you had any doubts as to whether she was inhuman, I think this has put them to bed. Because that woman is 98 pounds soaking wet, but every pound of that is 100% intestinal fortitude. The gatecrashers better watch out. 